If you're struggling with your Facebook ads, if you find that you're turning your ads on and off and then you're turning them off because you don't think they're working, you're not sure what to do about your Facebook ads because you're not getting the results you want, I'm going to share with you a few metrics that you can check. Okay, I'm going to be showing you how to get a 200% return on your Facebook ads before you ever even run your Facebook ads. Okay, you're going to know by understanding your metrics here and some a few numbers that we're going to figure out right here. So before you run an ad, you'll have a good idea of the benchmark numbers you need to hit in order to exceed your 200% return or hit your 200% return. Okay, so the first thing we need to know is your average order value. Okay, your average order value is the your products and services, obviously. What are you going to be selling and how much are you going to be selling them for? So I'm going to put down a simple number as I want my average order value to be $500. Now, if you're running the Ascension model where you're sending people, you're running an ad, you're sending them to a landing page, you're getting them to opt in, they're hitting your thank you page and you're upselling them on your thank you page and then you're putting them through the Ascension model where you're offering you know, something of a higher dollar, then a higher dollar, then even a higher dollar, okay? What you're going to do is take all of your products and services, add them together, divide it by those num the, the number of your products and services that you have. That's going to give you your average order value and give you some benchmark numbers to work off of, okay, for your ads. Okay, the next thing we know is if we want a 200% return, our cost per acquisition cannot exceed... 250 okay so if we want so for every dollar that I put out I want two dollars back okay so how many sales do we want to make this month let's just say I want to make 200 so I can make a hundred thousand dollars okay just leave that there well that'll come in later so now, in order to figure some of this out, it's pretty simple. Worst case scenario numbers, okay? So we're going to work with landing page conversion rate. The worst case scenario for a landing page is going to be 20%. Okay? Worst case scenario for a sales page conversion rate is going to be 1%. Okay? Worst case relevant score is 5 Okay, I'll talk about that at the end. So now, let me draw you out a little scenario here so it'll make it easier for you to understand. We're running an ad. We're sending them to a landing page, LP, or opt-in, whatever you want to call it. They're hitting a this sales page, SP. Now this could be a webinar, it could be a long form video sales letter or a regular uh, text sales letter, whatever, whatever you're sending them to. Okay, and again, like I said, if you're using the Ascension model, you would just take your, uh, all your products and services that you're going to be offering throughout the Ascension model, add them together and divide by the number of products and services that you're going to be offering. That'll give you your AOV. Okay, so what we want to do if we're going to be working this backwards to fill in all these numbers, to fill in the CPC and the CPL, we're going to want to know how many people need to see this sales page in order to convert at 1%. Okay, so I'm going to get my calculator here. I'm going to take my 200 sales and divide it by 1%. So 200... Divide by 0 0.01 equals 20,000 people. Okay, so I need 20,000 people to hit this sales page in order to get a 1% conversion that gets me to my 200 sales per month. Okay, now if I'm working this backwards, I want to know how many people do I need to hit that landing page right there in order to get a 20% conversion. So if I take the 20,000 people that hit the sales page and I divide it by 
I would see that I would need a hundred thousand people to click on my ad to hit my landing page and then if my landing page converts at 20 percent I'm gonna end up with 20,000 people to hit my sales page and then if my sales page converts at 1 percent I'm gonna end up with 200 sales okay see how simple those numbers are okay so now we want to figure out our CPL and our CPC so what we want to figure out is how much now can we spend in order not to exceed our 200% return, which is our $100,000. Okay, so if we take our CPA, we times it by the sales that we want. 250 times 200, that gives us $50,000. We cannot spend more than $50,000 in order to get 200 sales so that we stay, so we get a 200% return on the $100,000 that we make. Okay? So just understand that. We cannot, we cannot spend more than $50,000. So now we need to figure out our CPL. And to do that, we're going to we're going to take our 100,000, we're going to divide it by our 20,000, which gives us a cost per lead of $5. Okay, so we can't exceed $5 on our CPL. So now let's figure out our CPC. To do that, we take our 100,000, divided by our 50,000, so our cost per click cannot exceed $2, okay? So let's just say if we're running an ad and our CPC is above two dollars means that we need to check our ad okay you'll check your relevance score if the relevance score is low it's below five then we know we have we have an ad problem okay now the ad could be in front of the wrong audience it could be something with the creative that's wrong the headline or the copy itself it's something that we need to test okay so we know that that's something we need to work on if our CPC goes above $2. Now, once we start sending people through our funnel, we need to check and see that the landing page is converting at 20%. If it's converting above 20%, we're good here. If it's converting below 20%, then we know if all the rest of this is okay, that we need to fix our landing page. Okay, so we don't have to fix the, the, the ad. We can work on a landing page here. Now, if the landing page is working and it's converting at 20% or higher, we need to check our landing page, our, our sales page, I'm sorry, our sales page. And if the sales page is converting at below 1%, then we know it's not the landing page, it's not our ad, it's the sales page that's not converting. We can fix the sales page copy, whether it's a VSL, video sales letter or a long copy sales letter or a webinar, whatever you're sending people to. Okay, but once it's creating or once it's converting, once it's converting at 1% or more, then we know this funnel is going to work out. Okay, well, I hope you found this helpful. Uh, now you can actually create your metrics, know exactly what your numbers need to be before you even start your ad. So when you actually get your ads up and running, you don't have to, sh have to shut them down because you're not sure exactly why they're not working. You'll know if it's the landing page, the sales page, or the ad itself. Uh, you can find most of these metrics within uh, the Facebook platform. So you can check them out there and then you can decide whether your ad is working or not. If you're still having trouble with your ads and you're not getting the results you want, 
schedule a free uh, strategy session with me and I'll discuss your ads and your business with you and how you can get more clients and more sales quickly. Okay? I'll talk to you soon. Take care.